<clears throat> All right, I'm going to do, <coughs> this is going to be a little longer than usual. I'm going to do a, uh, what's behind door number one and then what would be behind door number two. I'm excited for this. <laughs> uh, all right, let's talk about it. I'm just going to roll with it. Tell me door number one, door number two. Oh, okay. This will be door number one. Been caught dancing naked in front of the mirror. And then door number two is, ask how many kids do you want on a first date? This would be the difference for me and someone who is very confident in who they are and what they look like, as opposed to someone who's insecure and needs a sugar mama or dad. This could be, yeah, either one of these are male or female. We'll say they. I may have to specify because of sexual parts, but we'll see. Tell me about this been caught dancing naked in front of the mirror that's holding tight but that's gravity I'm telling you everything's still in place here and this could be a man because this looks like balls to me or this could be well let's tell you this the woman's tits up here are in place and the balls are still someone balls aren't sagging either yeah they don't they hang good yeah they do he loves himself. They love themselves. She loved. That's what it is. It's how they feel about themselves. What's well, the only way to time travel? Oh. You must be an introvert, and this came out as well. Do you feel like there's a possibility? I don't know if it has something to do with the mirror. That there could have been something said in front of a mirror or there's something weird with some type of reality with mirrors where you could have time traveled and gotten stuck. Wormholes. There's so much that we don't understand about that and I guess I, I could pause it and find out shit but I'd rather just keep going with this. When they're by, them, when they're by themselves, that's what they do. They look at themselves in the mirror and they love themselves now yep they're loyal to themselves they're their own best friend mm -hmm. number from one to ten i would say that this one <coughs> excuse me an eight a solid eight it could be solid eight inches uh, eight and a half nine Okay. I see why you're an introvert, sir. I'm not sure if anybody can take that. You'd be surprised. I don't know how to I don't know how to This is me. That's there are certain things that I'll say dirty. And then there are certain things that I feel like should be left to the imagination. You don't want to be the type of woman or a man that shouts out, you'd be surprised that I can take 12. Because now, let's say this, let's say there's a good seven and a halfer that's interested in you, and now he's thinking, well, damn, they took a 12? And it has nothing to do with how this man feels about his. He knows that his is solid. It's, am I going to enjoy the shit now? This has nothing to do with me. Just be careful of the shit that you're saying out loud. It's gonna make you look like you're a little too loose for some that have respect. <clears throat> you feel like you're in a wormhole they keep talking about somebody that feels like they're stuck in another time I feel like I'm stuck in an abyss or I'm going to put a name out for someone that actually did time travel and I don't think this has anything to do with a time machine I think this is a, I, and it doesn't feel like style either to me it feels like somebody could literally be stuck or have traveled and now your etheric body or the, the physical body caught up with each other. Just give me a name for this cat, please. And then you can figure out L-I. You can figure out how to Ilya, how to uh, Ian. Nope. Liam. Maybe watch some... How about this? Say out loud. To whoever it is you say it to, whether you say ancestors or you say God, whatever, whatever this is, 
please help me get back to where I'm supposed to be, what time I'm supposed to be in. It's not that somebody showed up with a friggin' looking like George Washington. It doesn't work like that. I, I'm not really sure how this works. L I. This could be something connected to when we feel like we met someone who's an old soul. We call we would say we came into contact with an angel. We never saw him again, and we got something great from them, and then that was it. It could be time traveling involved with that. Highest level. The meanest. <laughs> That's the one that says she took 12 inches. The mean girl. You took a lot more than just 12. That's why you're taking on the spirits of whoever these men are. Let's say this. Uh, okay is one too. Like, uh, mm, you can tell that you try ta time traveled and got stuck by the things that you like that others may not like. All right, moving on to this mean girl. Let's say you're a lesbian. Whoever has the, right, whatever they're doing to you, it's the same thing as a man with that, with a dirty spirit. It's connected. Be wary of that shit too. Now let's talk about this other one. What is this? This could be that. This could be that, definitely. Now, is this a neighbor of yours? You, someone sees somebody dancing in the mirror or walking around naked. But god damn, they look good. They're that confident. Here she goes. Or he, I'm going to go take a walk. It makes me happy to go take a walk. This could be a neighbor that's a few houses down. And it's like, bitch, all she does is pass the three houses. And then she comes back and she goes back and forth. Somebody paces in front of another person's home. Because you're waiting for this man. It really feels like a man to me. To come outside and speak with you. I get it. I don't know what is about to happen. What's going to happen with this situation? You're hoping that he needs some sugar. Literally, is that what you said? Oh, this is the kind of guy where I hope he asked me for some sugar. I don't have any sugar, right? I don't have it in my, in my somebody uses the word cupboard. Maybe he will. Maybe he listens to me and, and he knows it's him. The street, there's a convention. It's gonna, this is specific. All right. Pacific. Ask how many kids do you want on the first date? Now we're going to this one. <sighs> Tell me about this one. This could be the difference between two men that you have to choose from or that. Yep, they're looking for a wife, a mother. We're going to do it from the men's perspective and then I'll do it with the females. It's easier for me this way. I need a wife. A business owner, preferably someone who has a bank account. But I want them to be... This is weird. Oh my God, that's what it is. Thank you. He needs a wife, a mother for his children. Somehow he's stuck with kids. This could have been karma, where the wife passed away. And he didn't respect her role in the home. And now he's stuck with kids and he's riding solo. Riding dirty as well. I need someone that I can trap. I want to be able to go cheat. I want other options. But I need this one to be the solid one that's going to stay home with the kids. I'm having a hard time coping with these kids. Sagittarius possibly. Yeah, I'm looking for a balanced life, but only at that home. Skilled in cooking. Oh, you're very fussy, sir. And there's nothing wrong with being fussy, but you're not looking for this woman for the right reasons. There's no cups here except for this. You want someone to pour into yours to help you with your gifts. What is this? There's something he wants to do. He wants to start a business or something. Credit.
No. A madam? Do you know how difficult that's going to be in the times that we're in? And it's not because of any kind of arrests, okay? It's because women like this, I don't feel like there are women who are interested in doing this shit anymore. They got away from men like you because they didn't want to do this if they were doing it. Uh, hmm. Okay. This is a do as I say and don't ask any questions type of cat here. No. Let's get some of these now. Can't show up with the wrong shoes. Yeah, I don't know if those Crocs are gonna work. They should sell cologne that smells like you. Is that what it is? That kind of business too? It could be multiple businesses. I got different ideas and your ideas could be great. You need to take accountability for whatever the situation is with your kids, sir. You owe child support. Derek. I want a shoe business. I want a cologne business. This reminds me of the cat where on um, what's the one with with um, Tyrese and the one where he's he's selling shit out of the back of the trunk. That, which it's a hustle, and I respect that shit. There's something here about you wanting to have this woman take care of your children and fund you in some way. Does she own a business? And she has a YouTube channel. She's an entrepreneur. B U. Buds. Oh, either she has earbuds, stock in earbuds or something, or she's make it's a weed dispensary type of shit. Yeah. Mm. I gotta clear this. Be wary of this. How do you how do you come up with the kids like that? I'm I'm curious as to how that would happen when you're a guy in this situation. You don't show the kids right away. You wind up having a conversation, you build a rapport, and then, oh, I got it. That's how it goes. And the story goes, yeah, you know, my wife and I, we're, we're divorced and everything like that, and she's sick. And then it's going to come down to she passed away, and now I have the kids. But he's got to make it seem like he was a present father and husband first, right? I'm probably giving somebody an idea right now, too. And that's not going to work for you. I like the sexy guy that you're waiting for him to come outside, he will eventually wind up, he may see you and accidentally walk outside without anything on. And I'm not sure if it's gonna be an accident though, but I think he's been looking at you too. Now, let's find out something else between, between door number one and door number two. A note. You know what, if you left a note, I would say this, hi, I live at so-and-so, I like you, keep it short. And then he'll wind up keeping an eye out for you coming outside of your home. Uh, door number one, hooked up with a bartender for free drinks. I should have done the other one from a female's perspective, right? I think I did incorporate both. I'm just winging it. Um, door number two lied about what I did for a living just to get laid. They seem like the same person. I'm going to do it anyway. We're going to do this from a female's perspective now. The bartender, because there's so much homosexuality, I can't really say whether it's going to be a man or a woman. We'll just say the bartender is... No. Yeah. If you're doing it for free drinks, I'm guessing they're not that attractive, so you're not real picky. Well, let's find out about working here. Madison? Yep, no work there. If she does work, 
she has to get drunk first. She can't stand her job, that's why. Yeah, you're starting to look real bad. Now, the only thing is this. There's a bartender that you've been hooking up with that's been hooking you up with drinks. I don't know if you work at the bar. For someone, you actually work at the restaurant or the bar and you're hooking up with the bartender. You're not making any money at this restaurant because people are not eating out the way they used to. They're finding out about all kinds of shit happening with the food. And uh, Joey... He could be putting some shit in your drinks. What, why is this happening? Why am I attracted to this guy? It's not It's not E, is it? Or, or Molly? Yeah, and then it's let's leave. We leave together. Hmm? You're, you're, you're a Scorpio. And what happens? You go through a fence? You don't even get to go in the front door. Is this the kind of weird... I'm sorry. Is this the kind of weirdo that lives in someone else's house, maybe in a basement or something? They're showing me somebody going in the back door in a basement. It's real Dahmer-like. They have a mattress on the floor and everything. Is there a pentagram underneath the rug? Are you there now? There, there's, there's a throw rug. You feel real weird in this place, and it's because you're, you're sensitive. Don't eat any food that's in the fridge. Don't let them cook for you or anything. Hungry. Say to yourself. Please bring me some food so I don't have to rely on this anymore. Yeah, this guy is connected to something else here. He could have said, this is my home and it's getting renovated so we have to stay in this part. Yeah, this is a real weird cat, man. I would say get out of there. That's door number one. And for someone, you're about to get into this situation and I would choose... Whatever the other situation is, even if it's death with the death card, I think whatever's going to happen in this place that you're going to wind up going to, you're going to wish that you died first. It could just be his gas is that bad because I just actually farted. It could be that somebody's gas is so bad and there's no ventilation and wherever it is they're going to take you. I suggest don't light a cigarette. Don't light a goddamn candle. Uh, that shit may blow the hell up. Lied about what I did for a living just to get laid. Talk to me about this. This seems like the better one of the two. I guess with this now, they're saying that there's, wherever you are, wherever you're living, it doesn't feel to me like there are, it's slim pickings when it comes to this shit. All right. The clap. I lied about what I did for a living just to get laid. I'm looking for a successful mar what is this? Oh wow. Hold on. Oh, this is the porn industry. Okay. And yo, I'm the kind of guy I'm real hands on. This does feel like the industry and shit, but it no, nah, it's not. It's not those guys. I don't want to say their names. But we know who it is. <laughs> but it feels like now I'm gonna do you a favor. Normally I would bring some guys in and you get you have you know, we gotta do testing. And these guys, some of them, if without the makeup and the filters, I'm gonna do you a favor. Let's go behind the curtain. And let me see what you got. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, serious, serious. This is the gay porn industry. I need to check it out. Yes. Okay. Turn around. Let me lift up the balls. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
fuck else can I buy? I'll tell me, I'll tell, 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 tell. Tell me this guy's got some type of weird outfit on too. Or, oh, not the mic, not the magnifying glass. I can't. This guy. I I'm not even angry at you. I can't even get mad. Yes, yes, that'll work. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, now what we're gonna have to do? I've inspected it. Yep. They bring in someone else. I'm gonna bring in my associate. Yes, yes. It may be two more. Uh, we're go we're gonna see how you work together with other people. <laughs> Meanwhile, the whole time, someone's holding a camera somewhere. They act like there are other people somewhere. Is that what it is? They're waiting. I just want them to see how this goes. They're recording everything. You're not, you're going to wind up making a porn without getting any money at all. This is the new thing that they're doing. I guess, oh boy, I don't even need any more cards. Let me get some letter cards and then I'm going to close this out. P.R. J E R J and S N Ren Rennie Rennie Penny, you got it. Did they clap too? Oh, look! Oh, yeah. Very strange, man. If you're if you're thinking this this is awkward, just leave. No fear ever. Confucius. Ren is the best person can be and the closest uh, the closest that can come to becoming a gentleman. Amy. For wanted sex goddess and seductive womanizer. I guess this is for men and women, but I, the point is this. Be careful how this interview goes and this testing to see how well you work with others. Should I do more? I'm going to do one more. Door number one. You're as stubborn as a mule and twice as pretty. Somebody gets you better than anyone else, too. And they're pretty or they're handsome. But I'm guessing we're talking about a woman here. And I'm going to go with a man on the other side. Right. If it's a woman for you and you're a lesbian, put it like that. Door number two. You're taller than a four foot six inch tree. <laughs> right off, right at the gate, I feel that there is a man here who does not like short women. I don't think you can like short women, sir. It's too awkward for you. They're all short to me. <laughs> They're all short to me, damn it. <laughs> I got back problems and shit. <laughs> Tell me about this stubborn as a mule and twice as pretty. Are they filming? <laughs> oh, boy. This could be a man who's grateful to be married to you. I'm so grateful to be married to you. You're so stubborn. You must be a Taurus. There has to be a Taurus here somewhere. I guess Libras could be stubborn too with the justice. Justice of the peace. Is that how you got married? Or that's how you want to do it? Yeah, you stress me the fuck out. Alright? But I know that you know what's best for me. God, I wish you didn't sometimes though. That could be something you two need to work on. And maybe you just need to let this man fuck up once in a while yeah and I'm awakened now thanks to you now you woke the world up 
Now the world hates me too. That's what I'm getting. I'll never see things the same. Oh, even during this awakening though, as stubborn as you are, you're, you're helping him find balance, mental balance. This is someone that had, um, I don't want to say mental illness. It's more sociopathy, balancing out sociopathy through spirituality, spiritual practice. Now, this could be frequencies. It could be spiritual baths. It could be you saying, just breathe. Reminding him, yeah, Pisces or Scorpio possibly, but this person was stuck. I didn't even realize how stuck I was mentally. This is a very smart man, very um, mechanically inclined, but there's something here with his crown chakra. I felt like my head was on fire. He could be realizing that he was part uh, of a sacrifice or supposed to be because they're they're making me feel like the, the psychological attacks on something where they wanted him to take his own life. That he felt like his brain was on fire. This could also be that you're stubborn and you force him to stop working. There's something here about you not taking no for an answer and he's not the kind of guy who likes hearing that, but he knows that if you say it, there's a reason. He could be an investor of some sort. Taurus. This is Wall Street, I feel like. He doesn't want that. That's why. This is why you're like this. You want him to retire. We don't need the money anymore. I don't know why you keep doing this. It's like you get up intentionally. This is you. I get up. La, 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 and I know my day is going to be like this because I wind up dealing with stocks and all this other kind of shit. And I'm just done. I deal with this reminds me now of that room and shit where there's all kinds of people yelling and da, 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 and it's like I'm just fucking sitting here like I want to hang myself. Retire. That's door number one. Now, this could be a man who has two women. Let's, what's, what's the other woman here? You're taller than a, yeah. She, you wouldn't even be able to bring her into the stock room. You'd never find her again. Oh, got it. This is your, this is the one that you have a family with. Oh, this is the other woman here. Okay. The difference is, I'm guessing that the wife here doesn't force, does she doesn't challenge you at all. Big lip. You're more concerned about your community and your family and friends judging you for leaving your wife and your children. Yeah, King of Cups. You're a loving man and you love your family. You want to? You don't want to feel like you're turning your back on them, though. No. You there? You have a lot of friends. I don't really care about being successful anymore. It doesn't drive me anymore. This is the type of man where you have the new home. You you keep up with the Joneses. You keep up with everything, and it's draining the shit out of you. This must be a more calm, spiritual. I'm happier with less. I'd rather just be with you kind of shit. Not, your wife's not a bad woman. She's an amazing woman. That's the problem. Well, that, that's what's making this difficult. I would say this. When you first get up in the morning, I like the one that pisses me off. Right. When you first get up in the morning, who's the first one that you think of? That's the one. And because you probably have been thinking of this other one, you manifested her and brought her in somehow. And it would be a shame if you realize this is actually who I'm, I'm supposed to be with. But because of society tells me that I'm married with kids, that I have to stay here or there's a problem. This could be a Christian man who just doesn't feel like he's getting anything out of this doctor or this belief anymore. 
I can't take it anymore. And I'm taking shit out on her when I don't want to, so I'm ignoring her. And now it's affecting how I am with my goddamn kids. I don't want to be married at all. And I feel like this female feels the same way. I don't believe in marriage. And you're made to believe because of the system that there's something wrong with this one. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to get any letters or anything. like This is for too many people. Who's the first one you think of? Go with that one. We're not going to know. I love you. Bye.